Hey, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the first time. Surprise! <laughs> Today is very exciting for me personally because it is our Game of Thrones episode. We're gonna make pigeon pie. There's a book out there called A Feast of Ice and Fire, the official companion cookbook for Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And I've had this for years, I love it. It's a really cool book. It has not only recipes that are based on things that are mentioned in the book's Game of Thrones, but also they reference medieval recipes, which I find fascinating. There'll be like a little passage in there that has like, make thy thou pie with thy dough and thoust eggies. That's not actual medieval. It's, it's a really cool resource. I really enjoyed working with it. Beyond the fact that we are also just super stoked that Game of Thrones is coming back out. Uh, final season. <laughs> I know, I know. Very excited. But, so we are diving in. We're going to make pigeon pie. Which Tara went to the store and got pigeons. It was amazing. A thing you can do, evidently. I did not, I did not even know you could buy a pigeon. I was like, what are we gonna go do? Go out and kill a pigeon? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And uh, in true Cersei Lannister fashion, I am going to be drinking wine through this entire thing because I am definitely a Cersei. It's gonna be a long day. Let's uh, let's just dive into this. We're gonna make this pigeon pie, which I've got all these instructions here, but one of the things that it says it's gonna call for is that I need to make my own medieval pastry dough and I need to make a roux. So we have to do those things. This could all just be a disaster. <laughs> yeah. And good thing I'm drinking. So let's start off with this medieval pastry dough. Okay, this makes eight four inch tarts or two nine inch tarts or one nine double crust pie. That's what we need, nine, nine double crust pie. pie. That's what we need. That's it says dissolve the saffron in the water. So we need a pinch of saffron and a half a cup of water. What is saffron? That's a great question. I actually don't know that. I know that you buy saffron once in your lifetime. Meanwhile, rub the butter into the flour with your fingers. One stick of unsalted butter, a half a cup of unsalted butter, and three four three cups flour. I'm gonna I'm gonna rub. I'm gonna give this butter a massage. massage. Is that what's happening right now? Mm-hmm. And while you do that, I will drink this wine. I have a feeling that's gonna be the theme. If you're following along at home, I think that a good drinking game would be to drink whenever Nally drinks. Uh-huh. And only the ones that make it into the edit. While she's uh, manhandling this flour and butter, I'm gonna slightly beat these egg yolks. Uh, we have two egg yolks, slightly beaten. Is that slight, is that enough? How slight? More. All right. I think we are definitely good. So we're gonna add the egg and then the saffron water and stir until incorporated. Got it. All right. So egg. two eggs, two yolks slightly beaten. Bye. Mush it real good. And then we have to add all that. More water. Yeah, all right. We keep adding more water until it's like a dough. You add more water if necessary. I'm gonna just play that in my head and dance to it because you can't use it anyway. <laughs> You're gonna do that, drink wine, dance. That's your jobs today. And read the book. I drink wine and dance. That's as close as I get yeah. to know things. <laughs> you know what I was doing. Don't you know, don't right. you know, we got it on. I did it. Are you I sure? made dough. Yeah. Sure, what's, why is it different colored in different places? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's medieval. Okay. Okay. Then let's, let's, roll, this, let's roll this sucker out. All right. Two nine inch. How big is nine inch? And what do I do about this? <laughs> what do I do about this section over here? I just keep closing it and, how do people do this? <laughs> I don't know if this is how you do this. We should start simply. <laughs> maybe it should have just been a dough making maybe, episode. Maybe just learn how to make a pie crust. <gasps> okay. All right. Nice. Put the pigeons in a large pot. Simmer for 45 minutes. Okay, so we have five pigeons cleaned and dressed, and we have some fresh cloves. Let's go put these in the pot. Great. Two leeks, white and light green parts only, well washed and thinly sliced. Got it. What do you, do you use this for any, Ooh. Do you use this for anything or can I throw it away? Oh, it's gross. Blah. Next, you need one medium turnip diced about one half cup total. So next thing, we need 
half a cup sliced mushroom. Four tablespoons heavy cream. Uh, thanks for One teaspoon mace. Okay, so I think we're at the making the roux stage. Cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm making roux. It's two tablespoons unsalted butter and two tablespoons flour. Um, melt the butter in a pan, stirring gently until it starts to bubble. Add flour and mix completely with the butter. Stir until the mixture turns golden brown. Just a few minutes. Okay. Okay, this is the scary part for Goodness. sure. We can do roux. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this butter in there. I'm just gonna do this. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. It's starting to bubble. It doesn't seem over like medium or anything. It doesn't. Ah! It doesn't say anything exact. I got no instructions here. Goodbye, about see your pants. I heard something about figure eights. I heard something about figure eights. Okay. Now I'm continuing to stir gently. Ooh, stir gently. I think we're doing it. I think we're making a roux. Yeah, you're getting there. I think I'm making a roux. Okay, now what? Now, now. Stir until, wait, what am I doing? Stir until the mixture turns golden brown. Just a few minutes. Okay, golden brown, and then I'm gonna add the chicken stock. Oh, we're, no, we're really close though. So we're close, really so close. Like seconds away. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh my God, I'm cooking! <laughs> Is that what I'm doing, making gravy? I think so, I think it's a kind of gravy. It looks like gravy! Yeah. I've never made gravy before. I think the mix is all dissolved. Yeah. I think this part's done. So okay, I, I, I'm gonna walk away from this. Yeah, you're good, you're good. All right. Yes! Okay, we have our cooked pigeons. Pigeons. We have stored our pigeon stock to the side. Now our job is to put the meat in this bowl and we can discard the carcasses. Oh, this is gonna be a long task. Yep. Yup, 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 yup. It smells really good, guys. It does smell really good. <laughs> Pigeon meat is dark like duck, although not nearly as fatty. The silky texture of the meat is real stopping power. Yeah. A show, nope, sorry, a real showstopper. Wonderful, soft, tender, and complements the light, flaky pastry. Doesn't that sound amazing? It does sound amazing. Oh, you're good at this. I'm gonna let bowl. you do this. You know what I'm really sad about? Good job. I'm not gonna use the dun da 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 I bet there's like a different cover we can use. Oh, I'm sure. Now we need to chop this up into strips. Got it. So, pigeons are cooked. Pigeons are prepped. Now we're going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. And in a skillet, we're gonna melt the butter and saute the leeks until they are soft, but not brown. Add the turnip and the mushroom and stir until the pieces are all coated in butter. Okay. Okay, and now this roux, we're gonna whisk in some cream, the mace and the salt and pepper. So we're gonna go cream, mace, and then salt and pepper to taste. Pour your cooked vegetables and pigeon meat into your creamy sauce and stir well. But I'm gonna put that into here because this is not gonna fit all in. <laughs> the gravy. I'm gonna put the gravy straight in here. Pigeon meat! Doesn't this look phenomenal? It really does. Are we making a pot pie, basically? Kind of, I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, 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 wait. Everything's mixed together. We greased a pie tin and we base, we lined the base with the sides with a round of pastry dough. Done that, done that. Prick the base of the pastry several times with a fork. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we're gonna pour the filling into the shell. You scoop in there. Okay, okay. Yes, all the yes. This looks oh, it smells so amazing. good. Amazing. Look at that. That looks incredible. You spread, you spread. Okay, let's see. We are now going to um, brush the rim of it with beaten egg or water. So this part, so that they, so I think it's so that the so pie sticks, sticks together. Yeah, that sounds right. I don't have a brush. Not a, not a food grade brush. I also don't have a funnel, okay? Not a food grade funnel. Okay. Guys, we're making a pie. One, two, three. Four. That looks beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. 
Now, this is gonna go in the oven. We're gonna bake this for 30 minutes. And then we shall feast. Presenting Tara Hernsberger of House Hernsberger, first of her name. Natalie Lynch, mother of Bengals. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> I want that to be my doorbell. Guys, this, look at this thing. Look at that. I'm so excited about this pigeon pie, pigeon pie, pigeon pie. I cannot believe how fantastic that looks for a first pie. Mm -hmm. I, I expect a disaster. I mean, this so could be a disaster. He's invited to the party. Our loyal subjects. Natalie, mother of Bengals, have things to say. All right, let's dig into this thing. Okay, I'm gonna cut in this. I mean, they got something, something happened there, almost. It's all falling out the side. You're not getting it. We're gonna need a oh. spoon. Oh, but it looks so good. That looks good. Okay, a little bit of pastry. Oh, pastry, ooh, the pastry's yes. nice and flaky. Winchester. You're not invited to the party anymore. It's a great pot pie. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. Ooh. This is amazing. Mm. This is so good. And the turnips and stuff aren't overcooked either. There's still mm -hmm. a little bit of texture there. Yeah. The, maybe mm. the bottom could use a little bit more cooking. The, the bottom of crust? Little, yeah, the crust mm. is a little bit soft, but like, this is so, 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 so good. I don't think it's undercooked. No? Good? Mm. Awesome. I think the bottom, just like a pot pie, the doughy like, on the bottom is a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna sit here and eat this pie. I'm Tara of House Hernsberger, first of her name. I'm Natalie, mother of Bengals. <laughs> and this was Tara of House Tara Hernsberger, Hernsberger and Nellie of Mother, mother of Bengals. Bengals. Try stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment below if you like what we're doing. Mm. And we'll see you guys next time. Mm. Who knew pigeon was so good?